From Monroe, Michigan to the Upper Peninsula, there were thousands of heroic and patriotic women who were dedicated to the Union's cause. Anna Blair Etheridge from Detroit and women from Grand Rapids to Port Huron volunteered as nurses in the American Civil War, and we know about their exploits through writers like Louisa May Alcott. Probably the most remembered Civil War nurse was Clara Barton, the founder of the Red Cross. It's been reported that Barton was tending the wounds of a soldier when a bullet ripped through her sleeve and killed the man she was trying to save. Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, a Civil War surgeon, received the Congressional Medal of Honor. Mothers, daughters, aunts, nieces, and wives rose to the occasion and performed valiantly in every capacity. Women from Lansing followed the examples of the legendary Florence Nightingale by providing sanitation services. Ladies in Detroit started the first Civil War Aid Society, which in addition to helping write letters, distributed clean clothes, knitted socks, and warm blankets. Throughout the rest of Michigan, strong and courageous women contributed by maintaining the farms, running the businesses, and raising the children of the thousands and thousands of Michigan men who went to war. Those men were joined by one brave woman from Flint, Michigan, Sarah Emma Edmonds, also known as Franklin Thompson. It's like black powder has its own life. It has its own energy. When you load a rifle and you pull the trigger and you feel it recoil against your shoulder, it's like feeling something living going out of the end of your bed. I know it's an inanimate chemical compound. I, I know it's not a real thing, but when it shoots, when it ignites, when that chemical reaction takes place, it's like a living thing. If you ever watch the end of a rifle, you will see a sheet of flame at least this long, if not longer, come out of every single barrel. That's flame. It only lasts a second. But for that second, it's real and it's alive. It's hard to describe a battle unless you live through it, or you see it, or you even hear it. It's a strange feeling to feel the man beside you fall down and not be with you. But our discipline is such that we keep on going. Battles are gloriously, hideously beautiful. They're, they're indescribable in, in the power cannonballs to devastate trees and, and 